Okay, math. We are going to do times and divide today. Remember, this is grade four only. Only grade fours. Grade threes, you can carry on. Well, hopefully they're not watching this, but they will carry on with things in their books. Today, we're going to do some times and divide, which you guys have already done. And we have practiced a little bit, but I'm going to go through it with you again. And then we can do some examples together. So, times and divide. You've got this CGP page 8. And we're going to go through it together. Though it is a little confusing. If it confuses you, don't worry. I am going to go through something with you afterwards. Times and divide are opposites. We know this already, even the grade threes know this. If you multiply by some amount and then divide by the same amount, you're back where you started. So it's when you go forwards, you can actually do the sum backwards using divide. 43 times 3 is 138, or 138 divided by 3 equals 46. Okay. Use opposites to check. So, it's a good idea to check your answer. You just do the opposite thing to your answer to check that it gives you back the number you started with. What is 342 divided by 18? Well, first they do it. That's quite a tough one though. 342 divided by 18 is 19. To check it, you go 19 times 18 equals 342. If that's correct, you know and you get the number that you got in the question for divide, you know that you've done the divide correctly. All right. A typical example. Most of the time, you won't be given some numbers and told to multiply or add them. This is when they're telling you they put it into story sums. Okay? And story sums are trying to trick you. They're trying, they're making you think of your own sum. All right? But they give you all the numbers that you need. Sometimes you have to find an answer and use that answer to make a new sum. So let's look at an example. Okay, a sticker album of the famous boy band, I'm guessing that's them, uh, YTS, costs 80 pence, 80 cents you can think of as well. Each pack of 20 stickers costs 15p. Lucy buys six packs of stickers how many stickers has she bought six packs with 20 stickers in each well that sounds like multiplication six times 20. so let's do that one together just so that we know okay so it's saying lucy wants to buy six packs of stickers here's my stickers and she wants to buy six of them one two three four five six okay and you can draw these if they'll help you out. All right. Each pack of stickers, each pack of 20 stickers costs about 15p. So it's 15p, 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 and 15p. Lucy buys these six pack of, pack, uh, packs of stickers. How many stickers has she bought? So it says each pack of 20 stickers. So there's 20 stickers in each of these packs. 20, 20, 20, 20 stickers. This question's asking us not about the price. It's asking us how many stickers has she bought? She bought six packs and each of them have 20 in them. So she bought 20 stickers times one two three four five six packs and there is our sum okay and we know how to do this easy because we bank our zeros right what is six times two twelve and we add our zero so that's how they get 120 okay the next question is dealing with the money it says katie has 86p. She has 86p. So she's got all these coins, right? That make up to 86p in her little purse. All right. Well, we need to know how many 15ps we can get out of 86. So it's how many times 15 
goes into 86. So she has 86p, and she's going to see how many of these she can buy. Well, she can buy one, because that would only be in 15p, right? Can she buy two? What's 15 plus 15? Well, let's see. 15 plus 15. 5 and 5 is 0. Carry the 1. That's 3. That's 30. Okay? So she can buy two packs. Can she buy three packs? 15, 15, 15. 5, 10, 15. Carry the 1. 4. She can. 45 is still less than 86. <coughs> and let's see if she can buy four. One, two, five, ten, fifteen, twenty. So we put the zero, we carry the two, three, four, five, six. Sixty. She can even buy four. Let's see if she can buy five. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. So we put the five and carry the two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seventy-five, still less than eighty-six. So she can buy one, two, three, four. Five. Can she buy six? Fifteen, 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 fifteen. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty. Carry the three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh oh, that's more than eighty-six. So, how much more than eighty-six is it? It's by four more. Okay, that doesn't really matter though. What matters is. She only has enough to buy one, two, three, four, five packs of stickers. Okay, five times is what I'm saying, but you can just say five uh, packs of stickers. All right, and let's see, yep, five remainder, 11 it says here, right? Not sure about that. Oh, 75. Obviously, 75 <coughs> to 86. The difference between 75 and 86 is 11. So she could buy five packs. And if she has 86 pence and she's only spending 75, she has 11p left. Okay. And that's how they do it. This here can also be looked at as a multiplication. So let's rub this out. And have a look here. So, she has 86p. We know now that that means 5. 86 divided by 15, because that's how much each one costs. Or, 86 divided by 15, we worked out is 5 with a remainder. So now we can check it as well, right? 15 times 5 equals, what's 10 times 5? 50. What's 5 times 5? 25. 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, 75. Okay, so she can buy 5. All right, and this is how we check with our multiplication, all right? It's a lot easier if you draw this picture for yourself sometimes, guys, and that's okay, you can. Even teacher Tammy likes to draw the pictures because then you actually see what you're working with. All right, let's carry on here. Okay, the next part says, brackets show you which bit of a sum to do first, and this is an easy part. It's just saying that if you had like 12 plus 6 times 4, you would have to do the brackets first, the 12 plus 6 first. So it would be 18, and then that answer becomes the 18 times 4. You could not do 6 times 4 plus 12. You have to do the brackets first. Okay. Here they've given you some examples. Do the following and then check they are correct by doing the opposite. So they've got some addition and sub subtraction, and then they've got times and divide. Addition and subtraction 
you can check with their opposites and times and divide you can check with their opposites. So give those a bash and then there's two brackets options here for you guys to do. Remember you just do the brackets first. Okay. Mental arithmetic. This page is going to show you guys how to work things out in your head. All right. Adding and subtracting in your head. It's easy because you just split it up into two signs. If you're working out 35 minus 12 in your head. Taking away 12 is the same as taking away 10 and then 2. So, 35, instead of thinking 35 minus 12 and counting 12 on your fingers, you say 35 minus 10, then you know that's 25, and then you take off the other 2 as well. So you take the one number apart in your head, which is 12. Anything that has a 10 in it is going to be really easy, or 100. Okay? What is 646 plus 97? So this is the same thing again. It's like when we ask you to estimate a number. So if you had 97, let's do this one on the board. If you had 97 plus 97, okay? little bit more difficult to add in your head, but we've been asking you guys recently to estimate. Okay, so when you estimate, you round it off to the nearest number. So the nearest number to 97 is 100 and 100. So our estimate would be 200. 100 plus 100 is 200. Okay, but we know how to actually add this up in our heads. If this is 100, it's plus 3, right? And if this is 100, it's also plus 3. So we've added 3 and 3. We've added 6 to it in order to get our estimate. Alright, so we know that our estimate is only 6 more than the real answer. So now we can just do 200 minus 6 in our heads. Right? We know 200 minus 5 would be 195. And 5 is uh, 1 less than 6, so 195 minus 1 more would be 194. And that's how you do it in your head. Okay? Instead of going 90 plus 90 plus 7 plus, or having to do a column sum, you go, well, 100 and 100 is 200. And that's 6 more in total that I've added together. So now I'm just going to take away 6. 200 minus 6, 194. Okay? Let's look at the example they give us here. The example they give us here is 646 plus 97. So we're going to call this 100, and we know that that is plus 3 more, right? So 646 plus 100, we're just going to change this one, right? So it becomes 746. So that's 646 plus 100, not plus 97. So we've done three more. So from 646, we're just going to minus three from our digits. Six minus three is three, so it's 743. Very easy, and that's how you start doing big things in your head. All right. Now we're going to go on to multiplying in your head. And it's a similar thing as well. You look for the easiest part first. 7 times 2 times 5. You could start with 7 times 2, or you could, because there's no brackets here, right? Or you could do 2 times 5, or you could do 7 times 5. But here they're saying it's easier to start with 2 times 5, because we know 2 times 5 is 10. If 2 times 5 is 10, that leaves a really easy bit to finish, because now we've done this one, this one's 10. So all you're left with is 7 times 10. Well, we know what 7 times 10 is. It's 70. So you find the easiest part that can give you a nice round number, and you do that first. This is the same thing here. What's 98 times 6? 98 is the same as 100, 100 minus 2. It's the same what we did with our 97. So you can split up 100 minus 2 times 6 into 100 times 6 
minus 2 times 6. Okay? So we know 100 times 6 is 600. 2 times 6 is 12. So, 98 times 6 is 600 minus 12. Because we've split the number up into easier numbers to work with. Okay, instead of using <clears throat> 98, we're using 100. So we know we've added 2. So 100 times 6 and 2 times 6, and then you take them away from each other because we need less than what we're doing because we added more to our number. This one is a little bit more confusing, guys, but do your best to add it in your head. Down here, we can look and see. Find the answers to the following in your head. Okay, 5 plus 13, we could think of 13 as 10 plus 5, and then you just add another 3. 74 minus 22, well, 74 minus 20, and then minus another 2. 354 plus 99, well, 354 plus 100, minus 1. 5,832 minus 497. I think it's a lot easier to do 5,832 minus 500. And then all you have to do is take your 800 minus 500, you get your answer, and then you minus another 3, because 497 is only 3 from 500. Okay. And then the multiplications at the bottom are quite simple. For number seven, though, I want to do it here with you on the board so we get an example of multiplication. So it was 97 times 6. Okay. Guys, they want you to do this in your head. All right. So <clears throat> you're going to look at it as 100 times 6. Right. 100 times 6 would be 600. And 100 is 3 more than 97. So then you do 3 times 6. 3, 6, 9, 12, 18, 21. So your sum in your head is 600 minus 21. Well, we can do 600 minus 20 very easily. That's 580. And then you minus another 1. You get 579. Okay. But another way to do multiplication when you don't need to do it in your head, when you can do it in your books, is to multiply each number here by each number here. So here we have 90 times 6. And here we have 7 times 6. This way is actually a little bit easier this time. And if you weren't doing it in your head, you could write it out this way as well if you just made that into a hundred. But these are how we will do our other multiplications. Okay. So nine times six, need your nine times table for this. Nine, 18, 27, 32, 40. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54, sorry. Nine, 18, 27, 36, 45, 54. So it's 54 and we add our zero. 7 times 6. Should we use 6 times tables? Maybe they're easier. Or 7 times tables. Let's use 7. 7, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42. Okay? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So it's 42. So our answer is 540 plus 42. Let's add this up. 2, 8, 5. 582. Oh, that's not right. 7, 14, 328, 35, 42. 54. Hmm. Well, let's check where we've gone wrong. I suppose this is really, really good. Because this number here should be the same as this number here. So, that was different by 3. So, 
So that was 600 minus 21. 529. Oh, this is 18. This is 18. Sorry, guys. Let's do this whole thing again. Okay, it's good if we make mistakes, but do you see how I managed to check it? I should have had the exact same answer there, and I didn't because teacher Tammy made a mistake, and that's good because now we can see how you can fix your mistake and find your own mistake. So we're going to do it again. 98, 97 times 6. So if we do it in the mental way, the mental arithmetic way, we do it in our heads. We make this into 100 times 6, which we know is 3 more than what it really is. So our other one is 3 times 6. So we have 600, right? And we have 6, 12, 18. Okay. So 600 minus 18 is, let's do a, a sum like this right now. Okay. Zero minus eight, we can't do. We can't take one from here. So we take one from here. This becomes five. This becomes 10. Okay, we still can't do it. So this becomes nine. And this becomes 10. 10 minus eight is two. Nine minus one is eight and five. There you go. We've got 582. Okay, this was a simple column subtraction. All right. <clears throat> you could also here, if it was 600 minus 18, you could see it as 600 minus 20. What's 600 minus 20? 680, right? But we took away too, too many. So we got to put two back. Uh, sorry. So it's 582. Now we're going to do the multiplication this way. Ninety times six was nine eighteen twenty seven thirty six forty five fifty four five forty right nine because this is ninety times six and seven times six ninety times six is five forty seven times six seven fourteen twenty one twenty eight thirty five forty two plus forty two. If we do basic column addition, we've got 2, 8, and 5. 5, 8, 2, 5, 8, 2. Do you see how I've checked myself? Both with mental arithmetic and with multiplication. All right. And that's how you're going to be able to do it, guys. With division, it's a little bit more difficult. But for now, you have to understand that division is your timetables. When we say 36 divided by 6, we're meaning how many times does 6 go into 36? All right? 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. It goes in 6 times. And we can check it because 6 times 6 equals 36. All right? I've done my best to try and explain this to you guys. I'm glad that I made a mistake because it shows you how to check your mistakes, how to see when you've done something wrong. All right. Give your end of page things a bash, please, at the bottom of both of these pages. And then I'll send you the page number you should start working on in your books as well. It'll be story sums. All right. But do these ones at the bottom of this page and this page. If you find you really don't understand what I've explained here, then please ask mom or dad or you yourself to send me a message and I will send you a link to another video that also explains how you can do it a lot easier. Okay, good luck guys and please let me know how you're getting along.